Have you ever questioned whether you truly have the Holy Spirit? Imagine waking up each day with an unshakable confidence in your salvation, a certainty that transcends all doubt. Today, I will share seven biblical signs that confirm the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life, bringing about a profound and lasting transformation. If you've ever doubted, or know someone who questions this presence, this message is for you. The first sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life is a confident assurance of salvation. Picture yourself waking up every morning with unwavering certainty, an assurance that goes beyond fleeting emotions or momentary feelings. This confidence in salvation is not just a passing thought, it's a deeply rooted conviction, anchored in your identity in Christ. In Romans 8, the Bible tells us that the Spirit of God unites with our spirit to affirm something remarkable, we are the children of God. This confidence is not simply a feeling, it's a solid foundation for your soul, keeping you grounded even through life's roughest storms. Have you ever found yourself doubting, wondering if the Holy Spirit is truly within you? It's natural to have these questions, especially during life's most challenging moments. Doubt is a part of the human experience. Yet, it is often in these times of uncertainty that the Holy Spirit works most profoundly. The Bible assures us that when we accept Christ, the Holy Spirit begins His transformative work in our hearts. Like a master craftsman, He shapes and strengthens our faith. His presence may be silent, but it's unmistakable, a constant, internal reminder that we belong to God. Think of it this way, even when life storms try to shake you, the peace you feel is a clear sign that the Holy Spirit is with you. He strengthens your faith, comforts you in moments of uncertainty, and gives you the conviction that you are part of God's family. It's like having an intimate friend by your side, someone who knows your struggles and whispers words of courage and hope. For example, recall the times when you felt utterly alone, only to be suddenly filled with an unexpected sense of peace and security. That's the Holy Spirit reminding you that you are never truly alone. Or when you faced a difficult decision, and clarity emerged seemingly from nowhere, guiding you in the right direction, this too is the work of the Holy Spirit, acting as your counselor and guide. So, whenever doubts arise or the enemy tries to weaken your confidence, remember this truth, the Holy Spirit is by your side, reinforcing your faith and reminding you that you are a beloved child of God. This peace and certainty are unmistakable signs of His presence in your life, guiding and sustaining you through every step of your journey. Allow this certainty to transform how you live. Let it shape your actions, decisions, and even your thoughts. Confidence in salvation is not just a theoretical concept, it's a living, breathing reality that can transform your life in profound and lasting ways. Embrace this truth fully, and walk with the conviction that you are loved, chosen, and guided by the Holy Spirit. Have you ever felt this confidence in your life? Share your experience in the comments below. Life takes on a new meaning when you begin noticing changes in your character. In Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, the fruit of the Spirit is described as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These aren't just beautiful words, they are real traits that start to manifest in you when the Holy Spirit is actively at work. Having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you suddenly become a perfect superhuman, but rather, you begin to change, gradually, day by day, becoming more like Jesus. It's a continuous and profound process, and you'll begin to see your actions, words, and even thoughts aligning with what God desires. Imagine your character as a garden. Each act of kindness, each moment of patience, each decision to love instead of harboring resentment is like a flower blooming in that garden. This growth is living proof that you're following God's ways, not just outwardly, but deeply, in your everyday attitudes. Have you noticed how some things that used to irritate you no longer bother you as much, or how you're more willing to forgive and move forward? That's the Holy Spirit at work, shaping you into someone who reflects God's love more and more. As the Holy Spirit works within you, it shapes your heart and mind in ways that show up clearly in your daily life, how you treat others, how you live out your faith. It's a deep, inward transformation that gradually becomes visible through your actions. 
If you've ever wondered whether the Holy Spirit is at work in you, take a moment to reflect. Look within, and notice the changes in your heart and behavior. These shifts aren't surface level, they're profound and real, manifesting in the way you carry yourself each day. In short, the Holy Spirit not only assures us of our salvation but also shapes us to become more like Christ. The growth of godly character, the love, peace, patience, and other fruits of the Spirit, is clear evidence that God's presence is active in your life, guiding and strengthening you at every step. So, embrace these changes and allow the Holy Spirit to continue cultivating this divine garden within your soul. Have you noticed changes in your own character? Which fruits of the Spirit have you seen blossoming in your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Another clear sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life is a passion and power for evangelism. Acts 1 verse 8 tells us that when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we receive power and become witnesses. This isn't just any power, it's a godly boldness, a divine courage that compels us to share the gospel with those around us. Have you ever felt that almost irresistible urge to talk about Jesus? That burning desire doesn't come from within us, it comes from the Holy Spirit driving us. He places a deep love for the lost in our hearts, a compassion that makes us see people in a new light. Suddenly, the idea of keeping this good news to ourselves feels impossible, we want everyone to know the love of Christ. This evangelistic fervor is undeniable evidence of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives. Consider the disciples after Pentecost. Before receiving the Holy Spirit, they were timid, even fearful of persecution. But after the Holy Spirit came upon them, they became bold, preaching with passion and without fear of the consequences. Perhaps you've experienced something similar, you might have once been hesitant to share your faith, but now feel an urgency to spread the gospel to friends, family, co-workers, or even strangers. Words and courage seem to flow from you in ways you never expected, that is the Holy Spirit in action. But evangelism isn't just about speaking, it's also about living a life that reflects Jesus. Your actions, kindness, and love for others are powerful forms of evangelism. People begin to notice something different about you, something that sparks curiosity and respect. So, if you feel that strong desire to evangelize, that passion driving you to share Jesus with everyone, know that it is the unmistakable presence of the Holy Spirit at work in you. The Holy Spirit moves within you, giving you the power and courage to be a living witness of God's love. Keep seeking this transformation and allow the Holy Spirit to guide every aspect of your journey. Have you ever experienced speaking in tongues? How has it impacted your spiritual life? Share your story in the comments. The fifth sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life is a deep love for Jesus. Romans 5 verse 5 tells us, God has poured out His love into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. When we are filled with the Spirit, our love for Jesus grows so intensely that it becomes impossible to ignore. Think of it this way, when you're in love with someone, you can't stop talking about them, right? It's the same with Jesus. When the Holy Spirit dwells within you, speaking about Jesus becomes natural. Your entire life begins to reflect His love and grace. Every action, every decision, and every conversation carries a touch of this deep love for Jesus. The Holy Spirit guides us to glorify Jesus in all areas of our lives, whether at work, at home, with friends, or even with strangers. The way we live becomes a living testimony of Christ's love. People around us start to notice something different in us, something special that springs from this deep relationship with Jesus. This passionate love for Him is a clear indicator of the Holy Spirit's presence in you. The Holy Spirit is the one who transforms us, molding us to become more like Christ, causing our love for Jesus to grow deeper with each passing day. The more we surrender to the Spirit, the more we are shaped to reflect Christ in everything we do. So, if you feel a deep love for Jesus, if you can't stop talking about Him, and if your life reflects His love, know that this is the Holy Spirit at work. He is transforming your heart and guiding you to glorify Jesus in everything. In summary, 
A deep and passionate love for Jesus is a clear sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life. This love transforms you from the inside out, molding you into the image of Christ and making your life a reflection of His love and grace. Keep seeking this connection and allow the Holy Spirit to continue guiding and transforming your life. How do you express your love for Jesus in your daily life? Let us know in the comments. The sixth sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life is the knowledge of the truth. 1 John 2 verse 27 says that the anointing we receive from the Holy Spirit teaches us all things. In other words, the Holy Spirit guides us to complete truth, revealing the depths of Scripture and the presence of God in our lives. But this knowledge is not just a collection of facts in your mind, it's a spiritual revelation that transforms us from within. John 16 verse 13 says, The Spirit of truth will guide you into all the truth. John 16 verse 13 tells us, The Spirit of truth will guide you into all truth. This deep understanding frees and strengthens us to live according to God's will. It's like having a friend who always knows the right path and guides us with wisdom. Imagine navigating an unknown sea without a map or compass, that's what life is like without the Holy Spirit. But with the Holy Spirit, you have a guide who knows all the shortcuts and depths, helping you understand scripture in a way that resonates deeply with your heart. This knowledge transcends mere intellect. The Holy Spirit opens your eyes and heart to grasp the profound truths of God. He shows you how to live a life that pleases Him, provides wisdom for your decisions, and empowers you to face daily challenges. Moreover, this understanding sets you free. Knowing the truth liberates you from lies and deceptions that can ensnare you. You begin to see the world through God's perspective, aligning your life with His will. This transformation is clear evidence of the Holy Spirit at work within you. If you feel you are growing in your understanding of God's truths, know that this is the Holy Spirit guiding and teaching you. Keep seeking this truth, studying the scriptures, and praying for the Holy Spirit to continue revealing the depths of God to you. In summary, the knowledge of the truth is a clear sign of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life. The seventh sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life is holiness. In 1 Peter 1, we are called to live in holiness through the power of the Holy Spirit. This means that the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life not only guides you but also empowers you to pursue a life that reflects God's character. Experienced in your pursuit of holiness? This means that when the Holy Spirit dwells within us, He gives us the strength to reject sin and live a holy life. Consider this, when the Holy Spirit is active in your life, sin starts to feel repugnant. What once attracted you no longer holds the same appeal. It's like being on a path filled with tempting shortcuts, but the Holy Spirit directs you toward the right road and empowers you to follow it. Galatians 5 verses 22-23 describes the fruit of the Spirit, which includes qualities such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These characteristics are a reflection of God's holiness. When you embody these fruits, you showcase to the world the transformative difference Christ makes in your life. Imagine this in practice, you find yourself in a setting where everyone is gossiping, yet you feel a strong aversion to it and choose to walk away. Or perhaps an opportunity arises to cheat for personal gain, but you decide to uphold your integrity instead. These seemingly small daily choices are manifestations of holiness through the Holy Spirit within you. Living in holiness isn't about perfection or feeling superior to others, it's about allowing the Holy Spirit to shape your character and actions. This commitment to purity, honesty, and kindness serves as a powerful testimony of His work for us. When people observe this difference in you, they notice something special that sets you apart. Let's be honest, living in holiness is challenging. The world is filled with temptations and easy shortcuts. However, with the Holy Spirit's help, we find the strength to resist and choose God's path. Each time we make this choice, we demonstrate that Christ truly makes a difference in our lives. In summary, holiness is a clear sign of the Holy Spirit's presence within you. He empowers you to reject sin and live set apart for God, 
reflecting divine qualities in your daily actions. This way of living is a powerful testimony, revealing to the world that with Christ, we can indeed live differently and better. What changes have you noticed in your pursuit of holiness? Share your experiences in the comments. What changes have you noticed in your behavior and attitudes that reflect holiness? Share about it in the comments. The eighth sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life is spiritual discernment. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10, the Bible highlights the discernment of spirits as one of the gifts of the Spirit. This means that the Holy Spirit enables us to distinguish between good and evil, helping us identify what is from God and what is not. Think of spiritual discernment as a spiritual radar. When you possess this gift, you can perceive things that others might overlook. It's like having a sixth sense that alerts you to situations and individuals, allowing you to see beyond mere appearances. The Holy Spirit grants you the sensitivity to recognize spiritual realities, protecting you from deceptions and traps set by the enemy. Imagine you are faced with an important decision, whether at work, within your family, or in your personal life. With spiritual discernment, the Holy Spirit guides you toward wise choices. He helps you evaluate the pros and cons with a clarity that transcends human understanding. You may experience a sense of peace or unease in your heart, signaling the right path to take. Let's be honest, the world is filled with confusing information and conflicting opinions. In such chaos, the ability to discern what is truly from God can make all the difference. This gift keeps you spiritually alert and protected. You know those moments when you feel a shiver down your spine, sensing that something is wrong even if you can't quite identify what it is. Or when you feel an overwhelming peace while making a decision, despite the complexity of the situation. That's the Holy Spirit providing you with discernment. He's there, whispering in your ear, guiding and safeguarding you. It's important to acknowledge that discerning right from wrong is not always easy, especially in complex situations. However, with the Holy Spirit, you have divine assistance to navigate these challenges. He acts as a counselor by your side, always ready to offer guidance and protection. The ninth sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life is comfort. Have you ever found yourself in moments when everything seems to go off the rails, when it feels like the weight of the world is pressing down on your shoulders, and you just don't know what to do? In those instances, you often experience a comfort that doesn't seem to come from any known place, a relief that calms your soul and heart. This is the Holy Spirit at work in your life, acting as that steadfast friend who doesn't leave you hanging, even when the storm hits hard. In John 14 verse 16, Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as our Comforter. This isn't just a title, it's a practical truth. When you feel defeated and are taking the blows of life, the Holy Spirit is the one who lifts you up. He not only dries your tears but also infuses you with renewed strength, an energy that seems to come out of nowhere. He wraps you in an invisible embrace, whispering in your ear that everything will be okay because God's promises are real and unchanging. Imagine being in the midst of a crisis, surrounded by a whirlwind of emotions, and suddenly feeling an inexplicable peace wash over you. This is no coincidence or mere figment of your imagination, it is the real and powerful presence of the Holy Spirit. He brings a calm that defies human logic, a serenity that can only be described as divine. Even when everything around you is chaotic, the Holy Spirit has this incredible ability to keep you firm, centered, and renewed. And don't think He only shows up in catastrophic moments. In everyday life, during small struggles and challenges, He is there. Whether you've lost a loved one, gone through a tough time at work, or felt betrayed or disappointed, the Holy Spirit is by your side, offering a comfort that no one else can provide. He is always ready to surround you with love and patience, helping you overcome every obstacle. If you have felt this peace and comfort in times of trouble, rest assured that the Holy Spirit is working in your life. He is with you, easing your burdens, renewing your hope, and strengthening your spirit. Allow yourself to open your heart to this sublime comfort, letting the Holy Spirit continue to be your guide, your comforter. Letting the Holy Spirit continue to be your guide, your comforter, and your greatest support in every chapter of your journey. 
Have you ever felt the comfort of the Holy Spirit in difficult times? How did He comfort you? Share your story in the comments. The tenth sign that the Holy Spirit is present in your life is His intercession. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where the words just won't come out? You want to pray, you want to talk to God, but you're so overwhelmed that you can't even begin. Well, the good news is that even in those moments of complete blockage, you are not alone. The Bible in Romans 8 verse 26 reminds us that the Holy Spirit is by our side precisely for these times. He intercedes for us with groans that go beyond words, speaking straight to the heart of God. Think of it this way, the Holy Spirit is like that friend who knows exactly what you're going through, even when you don't say a word. He not only understands your heart but also speaks for you, ensuring that your deepest prayers are heard. And He does this in a way that is perfectly aligned with God's plans for you, which is a relief, right? Because let's be honest, sometimes we don't even know what's best for ourselves. Imagine you're confused, tired, and not knowing what to ask for or how to ask. The Holy Spirit is there, ensuring that your silent whispers and heavy sighs turn into powerful and effective prayers. He transforms your exhaustion into a plea, your confusion into clarity. This isn't just comforting, it's true proof that the Holy Spirit is actively involved in our lives. He is not a distant observer, he participates in turning our uncertainties into precise intercessions that knock on heaven's door with confidence. So the next time you feel lost in your prayers, remember that you have a heavenly intercessor. The Holy Spirit is there, working on your behalf. The Spirit is by your side, turning every anguished pause into a powerful prayer. This isn't just a helping hand, it's a divine gift that connects us directly to the heart of God. So relax a bit and let Him take the reins of your prayers. You'll see how even your moments of greatest weakness can become your most powerful moments of communication with God. How has the Holy Spirit intercede for you in your prayers? Do you have an experience to share? Leave it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, activate notifications, and share this video with someone you think needs to hear this message. Also, let us know which of these signs you identified most in your life and how the Holy Spirit has been working for you. And so we conclude our journey through the signs of the presence of the Holy Spirit. If you felt touched by this message, know that this is the work of the Holy Spirit in action. Keep seeking His presence, allow Him to shape your life, and prepare for the incredible transformations to come. Don't miss our next videos, where we will explore even more about how to live fully guided by the Holy Spirit. Stay with us, and let's grow in faith together.